Hello everyone and welcome back to the Spearhead cast. With me, Matt. We have a 4v4 on the road to Arnhem. On the Western Front. Let's go for the players, shall we? Representing the United States, we have Kiam as Ranger Company. We have Smiley as the British Commonwealth Weather Commander. We have Eric as uh, not as the United States Weather Commander. We have Silver Wolf as Royal Parachute Regiment for the British Commonwealth. Oh, this should be interesting. Representing the Axis. We have Titanium Wolf as Panzer Tactics for the Waffen SS. Gold, Gold Wolf as Straff Division for the Wehrmacht. Range Karma as Straff Division for the Wehrmacht. And Maverick as Sturm Tactics for the Waffen SS. Ooh, so double Straff. That's an intriguing thing. So we have a lot of uh, criminal elements being forced to fight here for, for the Germans alongside the Waffen SS. That's going to be interesting. But this is a road to Arnhem, a very large 4v4 map, very wide here, so uh, I'll have a hard time keeping an eye on all the action, but I'll do my best, of course. Looks like the British are taking control of the se center here. Wait, did both the British win for Royal Parachute? Both British win Royal Parachute, oh my god! Well, that's an intri intriguing one. The Storm Pioneers will definitely contest those riflemen. Looks like we're going to have a lot of engagements here in the center, but the rifle section is already coming up. And that, that'll definitely try and keep these draft troops at bay. British troops are very good, so... Uh, but there's going to be a Brandflasher coming in. Ah, we do have some Royal Parachute Troopers, though. These guys are elite troops. They'll cut down the draft troops, no problem. And probably most other German infantry. Especially when they're probably equipped. Okay, the Americans keep an eye on the southern flank here as the Panzerlehr, not Panzerlehr, the Leibstandarte slowly come in. The first assess. But I don't think the staff troops are going to do too well against paratroopers. But these paratroopers are really competent at their job. Americans are digging in along the northern front as the Wallonians are circling around. Look at all these draft troops, there's so many criminals and deserters being sent in to hold the center here. And enough rifles will kill even the elite troops here, but the elite troops will get a lot of kills themselves, I think. Infantry squad trained and ready to go. We also have an assault team coming in. These guys can be armed more with assault weaponry, which might be good against the draft troops. Deep on the southern flag. The vertical pinning the uh, Storm Grenadiers. As they fight over the road to Arnhem. Sharp Sharpshooters already being armed on this uh, paratrooper squad. A scoped SMLE. More Straff Truppen though are coming up here. Valonians trying to flank southwards here. That is a lot of Valonians. And uh, their firepower might actually take out these Americans. What have they got? They also win Ranger, so we have double Ranger and double um. We just lost a unit. So we have double Ranger and double um paratroop parachute. That's a really intriguing thing. While the axes have double stuff. How an intriguing setup. But I think all the British paratroopers are definitely gonna start making their move. If they do uh, the mad minute, they'll have to start pinning them. He's gonna throw a grenade on the paratroopers. Oh, mortar shell! Very good mortar right there. Enemy oh, the paratroopers are actually taking heavy losses. Not looking good for them. And that's a very bad, bad thing if you're playing as an elite regiment. Because if you lose a lot of people early on, it's very hard to recuperate. That's the advantage of, the being, of using the staff troops as the Wehrmacht. You can recuperate your losses really easily with them. Google Vacuum with a 4 2 coming down. I don't think the Jeep is going to win that engagement. They need to focus on the Google. Yeah, too late. Americans are coming down with a 30 cal, don't worry, they're 30 cal soldiers this part of the front. 
I always think this Fathom will hold too long on the double LMG 42 fire. The bunker, is, uh, not the bunker, the sandbags are helping though. We have an uh, airborne officer presence. I can hold in the north in front here with some British support. Valonians, plenty of Valonians uh, still trying to circle north. Yeah, American, American's not gonna do much out there. They did destroy the gu they kill the gunner right or wound him, but he's gonna get up shortly. But the battle actually went out in the long run here. Water coming out for the British. Germans are gonna secure the sender though. But the British are setting up a forward assembly here. Which is an ability the British have very early on. So they can reinforce right at the front. Tell them 30 cals here for the Americans. Then they'll stop the Valonians. Oh, the Rifle actually got the Kubelwagen on the southern flank. Very nice. But now the fighting is going to be over the center here with this MG42. MG34 is being armed on the uh, penals here. Oh, they're technically no longer penals because if they get to Veteran 2, they become uh, veterans actually, which unlocks their access to use the LMG42. It's an intriguing little uh, detail. Storm Pioneers coming in here for the Staff Division. Being armed with PPS Ages. Is that Royal Air Force coming in? Oh, it's artillery actually. Mortar firing. The mortars are doing a very good job for the uh, Germans here. Big push trying to come out of north here. The sheer amount of Sturm Gewehr is showing though. Jeep coming up for the northern front with a 50 cal on top of it. Now that's a very powerful Jeep. They were a 50 cal. There are military releases on the fields. That'll, the 50 cal could actually threaten this if it gets some good shots off. But it needs to get good shots off. Currently, it's not getting the, the lucky shots it needs. He is loading armor piercing. And there we go, that's what he needed. That's gonna pierce straight through the uh, armored car. There it goes. Good job, Jeep. That's the power of the 50 cal right there. And will the engagement still go on the south here, uh, in the center here? The south is a little bit quieter, but the Americans have a 30 cal here. Lieutenant also present. Ranger recon's coming into the field. Instead of a beacon, so they can airdrop in troops. Malouins and staff are taking control of the area. Now, the staff have no AT equipment. So, if like an early vehicle comes northwards, they might have trouble. But that MG42 is providing a lot of cover for them. Like, the staff are providing a lot of rifles for the. Uh, for the MG42. But I don't think that MG is going to last too long against these three uh, paratroopers. Americans coming in to help them too. And here's a half track with Rangers. Artillery coming into the center here. We also have a Leutnant present here. But I don't think he's going to last too long out in the open like that. The mortars are definitely proving their worth. Boys, you ready to roll out? Only Storm Pioneers have here. They would not be able to stop the half-track, but uh, he, de he doesn't know that. Looks like the British tried to do a glider landing here in the rear. Did not work out. Americans making the push here in the southern flank. On this flank here, these storm grenadiers are not doing too well. 
You got some full on life standard squad coming in. Some Panzer Grandiers after first SS. Leib or Leap? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Might be Leap standard. There can be other Tiger with MP40s if you want, actually, which is a very unique thing for this unit. So they can become really dangerous in CQC combat. And now there's a half track around. Fire for effect going in here on the British paratroop position. Not good for them. All in by the uh, Straf Leutnant by looks of it. Kettenhune is staying right here in the back, buffing all the Straf troops. That's actually a really big buff he provides to the Straf troops if he's near them. Now the Valorians do have Panzerfausts. So the Hafsack has to be wary of that. The Jeep coming in along with the Ranger Recon. Just the US, uh, the America's finest is coming in. Rangers lead the way after all. Ultra Storm for your present. Pack 40. Hitting the, hitting the half track. Ranger Recons are coming up though. They haven't been armed with any specialized equipment, however. But the Rangers are elite infantry for the US, so they should definitely start getting kills. Sounds like a Jeep went down. Ah, this, the Leipzig that has been armed with scoped STGs. Two scoped STGs and two normal STGs. So that's a very lethal squad at medium to long range, actually. Actually, at all ranges. Well, they may be a little unruly up close compared to the MP40. I think it'll still do better. But it might still lose to the SMG in close range. Still, we're going in here from the, uh, from the Germans again. Called in by this Halbstrom Führer. Stuart is arriving for the northern flank. Then a half track with Rangers arriving. And Ferdicale still carving in the south. Oh, that's just. They're getting mowed down out in the open there. But the center still continues well. The staff troops. Captain Hunde is leading the defense. That's the Royal Air Force coming in. They got shut down though, or they destroy an Opel Blitz. I don't think that Opel Blitz was actually there. So I just think that was, was part of the map. More fire fire coming in the British positions. Another glider is trying to land though. Bit of a hard landing, right into the artillery strike. Storm Pioneers are also providing a problem here with their PPS agents and MP devotees. But I think that's, yeah, that's, that's Storm Pioneer. Valonians are doing a push, right into machine gun fire. Stuart is also present. Is there any AT equipment up here? Apart from the Valonians themselves, I don't think so. Pack has been relocated. He's, he's moving the pack around where it's needed, that's good to see. It's threatening the Ranger troops that way. But the Rangers really need to get more equipment. He has the munitions for it, so he could arm them with like BAR marksmen and other stuff. You know, the northern flank, it seems like the uh, balloons are going for the steward. But the steward is using canister shots, which is completely a good counter to this. Essentially, it's being used as a giant shotgun currently. But a lot of artillery going in. Flag being set up by the uh, staff troops.
I think this German position is in, is in jeopardy. He needs to load more canister shots in there. Yeah, he's getting too close. That might be the Stuart. Yep. I think he should have kept the canister shots on personally. That would have really helped in this kind of situation against all the infantry. I think now the staff will move up to try and shore up the front the defenses there. Which is while paratroopers are still trying to fight here in the center. The staff troops are gonna come up here now to flank. That's a lot of staff troops. Rangers are present though, but there is a lot of MT 34s. And I don't care if you're elite infantry, if you're on the open against MT 34s, you're gonna get cut down. Heavy mortars are arriving too, I think. Yep. Heavy mortars for the Straff Division, which is essentially just a Russian heavy mortar that the Germans just copied immediately. There's the vertical here and some paratroopers. And that pushed those off. Another steward arriving. This one having been loaded with the canister shots. Good to see. The lack of vehicles up here will definitely make the canister shot the correct choice. Mods are re-landing right on the British uh, airdrop supplies. The think those supplies might actually burn up and explode. Yeah, there we go. Do this again, present with the canister shots. The British Air Force is being shut down, though, thanks to all the flak. But I think this, the the um, storm should probably invest in some kind of vehicle or anti tank gun to try and deal with the stewards or whatever else is coming our way. Yeah, with the southern flank, we have riflemen reaction moving into position. Range is showing up the front line. But the SS Panzer is doing a good job holding their front line here. Mortary coming in under British positions. Now this uh, li uh, Leap Standard unit is definitely doing a lot of the work, I think. With all those Storm Gewehrs, that's a very powerful squad. Oh, big house is shot straight down the house. A Mortary coming in. The Staff Divisions are just using artillery. Oh, there's also an SS officer here. Now there is a stew on the field though, and I think a high explosive of that will cut through the steward still. The steward's not big enough to survive such a big high explosive shell. You could also just load a heat shell. But now the steward might be in for a surprise. He's loading a heat! Oh, he didn't penetrate! Oh my god, that is lucky. That is pure luck right there. I was using it as an artillery piece, but it's hitting all the obstacles. So many Valonians. People really like to use the Valonians, evidently. Needs to be careful. One shot for that stew will kill the steward if it penetrates. Did not penetrate. So far, the front line is being very busy. Explosives is immobilized it though. That's also another thing of oh, explosive weapon. It can mobilize, immobilize vehicles. Oh, good canister shot right there! But then a pack shot. Light vehicle just got destroyed. That's why you get packs. Oh, I don't think the British paratroopers are doing too well with all these incendiary rounds and other things coming in on them. The Germans are really threatening the center here. And yeah, well, the fight on the southern flank continues. And before you two here. And that'll cut down the elite troops here. That's a rifle grenade though. You're not kill the whole squad. Ah, uh, finally! 
the Rangers are being armed with BARs, and it's double BARs by the looks of it. Always a good choice, but I personally like to get the BAR Marksman. Because I think the Marksman really is good over long, long range. And these uh, Leap Standard is just getting a lot of kills, but now they have no cover. That's a 76mm uh, German. Now the Germans really have to scramble to get some AT or tanks up. Meanwhile, the Stu is slowly killing advance southwards. We have an MG covering every retreat here, so that range is not going to do much, I think. Tag is loading a shape round. Good, good to see. There's not a lot of Americans on the northern flank anymore. And the British have suffered some losses, but they are recuperating. They're also getting in fireflies. Huh. Now the 76 Sherman here is definitely going to need repairs, but the British are already on it, so that's good to see. Enemy causing trouble. Trying more incendiary rounds going in. The Malones are making another big push. I think the Valonians might be a little too popular and good with their STGs this early. But that might just be my opinion. Because people don't really seem to ever get stronger ideas if they're playing a storm. They'll just get these Valonians instead. Which is not a bad idea, bad thing, mind you, but... It's just a thing if you can arm a basic infantry like that with a storm give it straight out the gate, it kinda shows. Students in the center now. They yeah, are unable to cut through this uh, biggest emplacement. Oh! Well, the Air Force is trying to go in for it, but missed. Wait, oh, Command Panther. Oh, God. He, the Turm has got a Command Panther already. That's what he was waiting all his resources for, wasn't it? Leaves them down and moving southwards here. They'll start to cut for those, that, that officer right there, if they can get in a good position. They'll use the house? There's not a lot of cover in that house, but uh, okay. Fire for effect going in. Ah, it's gonna circle around with it. Oh, pulling back right up. Huh? Well, the rangers are slowly showing themselves again. But I know there is a... Oh, good bazooka shot right there! Very good bazooka shot. But that is kind of the ability everyone is complaining about. The Ranger Recon can use a bazooka like a um, Panzerfaust. And I can kind of see the... Uh, I can kind of see the issue there. It, may, it doesn't make a lot of sense, personally. But the Germans are slowly just pushing back the Americans and allies. The Firefly, though, could threaten this too. And there's not a lot of infantry here with anti-tank capabilities, apart from this Grenadier squad, I think. No, they don't even have a Panzerfaust! They only have a pack! Firefly has to be careful. The Lonians are trying to push northwards. Or southwards from the north. I know rifle grenades are also just cutting through everything. This is such a... Wait, did the Leaf Standard die? I guess the Leaf Standard did die, okay. Ostwin coming in, of all things. A flak vehicle. Oh, we also have a Bloomberg, or Sturmpanzer IV, Stupa as it was called, referred to. Frontline artillery going in here. The Americans will have to pull back briefly. Americans have set up a forward encampment here, though, so they can get the troops. You like to get the Brazilians if you're playing as um, US Ranger. The Brazilian Mountain Infantry. A very interesting little unit. In Brazil, they had this kind of thing saying that they said they, they would join the war when snakes smoke. So, of course, the symbol that the Brazilians use for their 
for the mouth division is essentially a snake smoking. So, uh, that's a fun little fact for you. Oh, and there's the Austrians, which I wouldn't really pull up to a, to a fight directly. Because it is an anti-air vehicle, but it can be utilized as an anti-infantry vehicle. Fire on that 76 is going to try to go for TP shot, but the Panthers covering it. Didn't penetrate. That's surprising. There we go, that's a penetration. Looks like we had a big explosion here, probably from the stupa. But it must have been from the stew, actually. Malonians once again just threatening their positions. Firefly, good shot! Injuring the driver. But it can still turn its gun, I think. No, it cannot. No penetration. Oh, it needs to be careful, that Firefly. There we go. The Stupa's down. The British have lost a lot of their front line, though. Americans getting a jumbo for the northern flank, never a bad choice. Storm Tiger is being prepared though, because it's a Storm player, of course it's going to be a Storm Tiger. More artillery being called in, just threatening the German position so they have to keep moving. Some Hitler youth have arrived on the front line now. So many Germans at the center here, and the British' defense is all over the place. Alone's once again threatening the north. But I think a jumbo will definitely help. A jumbo on the southern flank as well. Oh, is the Germans do have a panther. Artillery being called in here, another sector barrage. Incendiary around on the, on the AT gun, nice to see. John Bus, be careful, it doesn't get immobilized by a stray artillery shell. Stu is making a push, hitting the light howitzer. Oh, very good anti-tank grenade right there. I think it might have been a Piat, actually. Yeah, that was a Piat. Stolen Panzerfaust going in, but they're getting too far away. Jumbo's gonna show itself, though. Oh, the artillery keeps raining down here. And Germans gonna make it move forward. But the Rangers and the tanks are moving in now to counter. I think the Panther will win front the lead though because of its armor. If the Americans can get close enough to flank it, the Panther should win out. More artillery going in. Took us to first press though to counter the enemy tanks. Austin is also pressing to counter slightly. But I think the ship is being smart and flanking around here. There's a pack though! Jumbo has to be careful. 
Nazis. You almost got a cheap Sherman. Hey, it's been immobilized. It's sitting ducks. It's an easy target. Meanwhile, the northern flank, the other jumbo has also been immobilized. We just lost a but it's in a much better position, I think, with support. Yeah, jumbo on the southern flank has been lost. Stormseeker is present, though. And another stupa. A lot of uh, assault guns present. We need to get our jumbo repaired somehow. And for the two cutting down these uh, British paratroopers. And they had to reload the MG42 though. More artillery going in everywhere. Oh, that was a gammon bomb! Ah, Jumbo finally went down up here. Did they actually waste this? They actually wasted the storm seeker shot on it. Seemed like a little, it might have been a little much, but uh, I'm the one to judge. Now the stupa is definitely gonna show why it's uh, an amazing vehicle for dealing with infantry. It's not looking too good for the allies. They're taking quite a pounding from the Germans. We can now call upon our supply reserves of ammunition. Yeah, the British uh, paratroopers have lost a lot of men. Astugus Afus coming in for the staff troops up north. Well, the Air Force strafing the sender did not do that much, I think. The storm seeker needs to be waiting for a valuable target. Oh, we have a long time present. If the Germans spot that, that'll probably be storm seeker. Is he really gonna... Oh, he's not gonna use it yet, because there's, there's two spread out here to be worth using. Wait, he is! He's firing! Probably around this area. Yep, around there. Lucas Fus firing as well. Probably around here too. Yeah, man, that's... Oh, that's gonna hurt the Rangers right in their forward encampment. Oh, the cat and Huna are trying to push up here. But they might get cut down. And also fire for effect going in. And the Storm Seeker is not even repairing yet. Stupa is opening fire. Oh, and the Vesuga uh, shit in Mope made the Storm, uh, storm Panzer be abandoned. The Royal Air Force is coming in too. Stuber down. Storm Panzer has been remanded though. But the Storm Tactics guy has lost practically his entire, his entire army. Meanwhile, the Germans are slowly creeping up on the, on the central flank. And the southern flank is being completely pounded. Americans gonna need to pull out something. So, so much artillery going in on the Allies at the moment. I 
and while I... And we don't see a lot more pants from the Panzer Tactics guy yet. Just that one Panther. Don't think it's gonna be firing again! Good shot too. He wants to get rid of that emplacement. Long Tom is in counter barrage though. Just not in the direction it needs to be. More fireflies coming in. The gun is not crude, not anymore. Well this battle is really turning into something. There's still a lack of AT equipment though on the northern flank. High explosive going in the Valonians. More flags being set along the front line by the uh, staff troops. Plenty of fireflies for the bridges coming in. But not a lot of uh, armor that could deal with infantry reliably. And there's two pants that can fire again. And it is. Let's go straight for the firefly. With a deafening sound. I don't think the allies are going to do too much. Rangers are getting another 76 Sherman. And yeah, that's a waste of a ranger, I think. Just got a report of an infantry unit being wiped out. The Americans need to do something. Oh, another long time on the southern flank. Oh, good shot right there. Killing the storm pioneers. Oh, there's still an Ostwin down here and an MG42. Solitary we're going in here now. That's a very wide zone. I think the British are in trouble if they don't evacuate that zone. We've lost an officer in action. Not looking good. And the stupas are rolling onto the field still. Like the British paratroops have transitioned out of using infantry and going for just for fireflies. Huh. Which I would not recommend because more infantry is always useful. It's also it's a healthy thing to have infantry in the field. Not looking too good though, all the howitzer shots are landing around too. I don't think yeah, I don't see the allies coming out of this one unless they can do a big push somewhere. The Germans are just slowly gonna build up build up more. But I have the advantage that the Germans only have one commander that can really get heavy tanks. Which is the Panzer commander. So they might have the advantage there, but the allies need to make some kind of combined push. But then, if they move too close, they'll be the target for the Sturmtiger. 76 Germans being very brave. Is he gonna waste a shot on... He wasted a shot on an almost dead 76. Not sure that was worth it, personally. I didn't even kill it. Don't see us trying to repair in the south. Ready to go. 
Oh, he's going he's to satchel charge it. That's the only AT weapon there. The penal troops have. Right on it. Yeah, I think that's a dead firefly. Yep. And the storm seeker will be ready to fire again. Oh, the Americans to do a push southwards. I missed. The jumbo is leading a push. There's a panther for them to deal with, though. Another command, command panther has arrived, though. So double panthers. Area is being bombarded. The Americans should probably pull back. The jumbo is being too brave. You're not gonna fight two uh, two panthers. He is being lucky with his armor, though, so far, though. The Lawrence is pushing northwards. Or pushing southwards from the north. And the Allies surrender, I think. Yep, looks like the Allies surrender. They probably see the writing on the wall now. I hope you all enjoy this battle on the road to Arnhem. I'll see you all next time, everyone. Bye-bye!